Until the next episode, see you, Frag Pal. Wait, wait. Okay. Uh, what? Your turn's over. Thank you. Thank what? you very much. What the? Yeah. That, that, that's what? in lover's tail. My butt. <laughs> By the way. <laughs> By the way, the review for Lover's Tale, I'm gonna be linking it down below. But right now in my channel, I'm gonna be bringing you a new... I, I can't say it's very new. But it's a fairly new gourmet fragrance that's been very underrated and under-talked under about in the fragrance community. It's nothing but polo. Red Extreme. Let's get this started. Here are a few things that you need to know about polo Red Extreme. First one, this one is a flanker of Polo Red and Polo Red Intense. And as far as I can remember, the Polo Red series is a uh, coffee centric. Now, on how this this one smells like Polo Red Extreme, it actually smells like, as I've said earlier, coffee. It's coffee dominant. It also has this fruit notes of uh, I'd say blood orange. Yes, uh, it's. I see blood orange is just a little thicker, it's a little sweeter, it's a little more syrupy than your normal orange. Alright, so imagine that squeezed onto this bed of uh, coffee beans, fresh roasted coffee beans, and that's what you'll be getting with this. Valentino Uomo comes into my mind when it comes to coffee scents. I think Valentino Uomo has this coffee cream iris um, scent profile. However, this one is more brash. This one is more aggressive. This one is more masculine. It's full of testosterone. If you're looking for masculine coffee fragrance, this one is for you. Now, going on to the bottle, as you can see, very simplistic. This one has got this uh, matte matte finish and it has this um i'd say the standard polo uh, logo the red one this one the cap clicks into place as you can hear it but as usual i don't recommend you um lifting the bottle by the cap um although it still holds firmly but i don't recommend it as you can see it has this red dot on it and yeah, um, that was for the presentation. There's nothing much about this. So yeah, let's go on to the next one. Finally, a polo fragrance, or I'd say a Ralph Lauren fragrance that lasts. I mean, since polo green, since Ralph Lauren Safari, this is one of their longer lasting scents as of late. This one lasts longer than Hugo Boss um, Private Accord or something. I think it's Private Accord, right? Yes, it's the Private Accord. Yeah, Definitely. so to be honest, I, I don't I don't see any coffee scents, any masculine coffee scents that are readily available in the market right now that's as long lasting as this. All right. So yeah, for the longevity, 8 hours minimum on my acidic skin. I don't know with you, most probably this would last longer on your skin. Alright, so let's go on to the projection. Needless to say, it's an eau de parfum concentration and this one, it projects. I tell you, it projects. More so with the first 2 hours, this would... I think this would choke people out, man. If you're if you're commuting, if you're taking. Well, here in the Philippines, we've got the jeepney, as you can see right here. We've got the MRT, the LRT, the public transportation. You could choke people out with let's say three sprays of this. You'd choke people out, man. It's got a vicious projection. Very underrated, by the way. There's not a lot of reviewers reviewing this one, exposing this to you. Masculine coffee fragrance. This one projects a lot. And I mean a lot. Being a Ralph Lauren fragrance, I think it does a good job. Albeit it is a little synthetic. But it does a very good job in giving us this, this coffee notes, this roasted coffee notes along with the uh, sweet 
tartiness of the uh, blood orange which is very linear on my skin it dies like that um lasts around eight hours projects like a monster so yeah be careful with the trigger you might choke people out so yeah you've been warned next one that we have is this worth it is it worth the money i think um i've seen this in our local uh how do I say this? Uh, our local online selling sites selling this one. It's costing around um, under $100. For an eau de parfum concentration, for a coffee, masculine coffee scent that projects and lasts. I think this one is a bang for the buck compared to the um, Hugo Boss Private Accord. That one doesn't, doesn't really last, man. I mean, it's such a waste of money. I do, I recommend you to have this one for the price to value ratio. This one is getting a thumbs up for me. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot the compliment factor. I've been complimented several times with this. I've been through the, the I've been through the uh, department stores. Um, I've been through several offices wearing this one. I am getting compliments with this. And yeah, needless to say, it's it's a very masculine. Unlike Valentino Uomo or Uomo Intense, this one is strong, this one punches you right in the nose. This one would choke people out, but hey, um, you can just wait 30 minutes upon application, then you go out into the world and smell amazing with this amazing gourmet fragrance brought to you by Ralph Lauren. Very underrated. I urge you to try this one if you do have it in your um, local stores. So yeah, um, I just want you to have the best fragrance family and please do not forget to hit the thumbs up, do not forget to hit the subscribe, like, and comment. Have you tried the red? Have you tried the red intense? But to be honest, I'd be recommending this over the red and the red intense. This one lasts, this one is more masculine, it performs, and it projects. What else do you want, fragrance family? So yeah, uh, as usual, bringing you the best. Um, send an introvert here. This has been your host, Alex. These are just my recommendations, my opinions, and my suggestions. And at the end of the day, you do you. I just bring you the best. We love you, fragrance family. Until the next time, we'll see you. Thank you. It's a cut. Yeah.